of Love, Strength and Honor, Terry the Top Team, Smear Sight, Team Union, Team Union Destroy. We've got our uh, first lesson out, which was pummeling. Now we've added the wrist lock, so I'm just going to go over the basic wrist lock again. And uh, part of the biggest discussion was to get away from kind of the martial arts circle. So martial arts do big circles because they're not afraid of attack. But the scenarios is we're always really, really close. So I always need to maintain a really tight circle. So any type of lock that I do, I always go in behind the opponent. I stay really, really tight to it. So I want to get to those kind of things with that wrist lock. So if you look closely, that first lesson is don't support the wrist. That's when you're trying to break your lock. If your hands are small or big, it doesn't matter. Grab a bit of the knee. If you can get your thumb through the finger, that's great too. And then you're going to metacarpal slot or press like this. And you always come real, real close, tuck in your head, stay away from the opposite hand, and bring him to your leg. And that would be the basic lock. So then we're going to put in a scenario. So Randy's just learned pummeling. So the scenario is I'm fighting him off. He pummels inside my arms. Get inside my other arm. Come on, pummel, pummel. Pummel. He drives me against the, the base. I'm fighting. Another guard comes along, and now he starts to bring his arms up, I'm trying to get away. This guard lets him know he's there. He's got this lock, so tap. Or he got the other lock. We turn it the other way. Yeah, yeah, tap, tap. Okay. So that's as far as we that's as far as we've gotten. Uh, can you can you pummel up Barry for a second? And bring him over to the wall. So you're you're getting a chance to see them learning right now. Just, this is all new to them. Right? Randy, I got your back. I'm right beside you, brother. I'm right beside you. Get underneath his arms. Tell me when you have him. You got him? Are you sure you got him? Stop fighting. Stop resisting. Pummel under him. Pummel under him. Stop resisting, sir. Stop resisting, sir. Stop resisting, sir. Stop resisting. Stop! Nice. Right? So nice, strong command. Don't let him go. I'm not ready yet. Right? right? So he, I need to understand it's not a mono and mono fight. It's not a one-on-one -on -one fight. I need his help. But I also know not to hurt him. So let's just pretend the pressure's there, Perry. Yeah. Right, so when I start hearing him like, ah, oh, you're breaking my hand, you're hurting me, whatever, I'll tell him, pass him off, pass him off, pass off. That means to disengage yourself safely, so disengage, pass off, and then I, and I'll take him into a different control. Remember, that's my, that's my game right here. Oh, he hit a set by accident. Right? <laughs> I'm always looking for that, for that control of a hammerlock or a sleeper, and I'll get you, I'll get you to that point in about six weeks.